Hey everyone, what's up? It's Julia, of course, and today I'll be showing you guys how to install the Better Than Wolves mod. Um, this was actually requested by Skling2123. Uh, I don't know if that's his name or not. I'm pretty sure that's it. But uh, yeah, he requested this, and I'm not sure if a lot of you guys know that I do take requests on installation videos. So go ahead and leave a comment of what mod you think I should uh, show you guys how to install. Um, so let's go and get started. Uh, to start, you want to open up the two links in the description to be given uh, these two little uh, pages on the internet, whatever browser you use, I use Google Chrome. Uh, here's the main link, uh, Better Than Wolves mod and Resigamaz mods. Now, here we are in the, better, in the Better Than Wolves mod, what you need to do is you need to find the download link, which says right here, download link, so in my case, it's right here. Uh, it might be down the page or something weird in the future, but for now, it's right here. So you just go ahead and uh, open it, let's go and click it. And then you just go and click download. I already have it download, so I'm not going to download it. It's really easy. Um, on a side note, just in case anyone tries to say that you need to have uh, Minecraft Forge on this, uh, take a note here. A note on Minecraft Forge by the actual whoever person who ever runs this forum, which I imagine would be the mod owner. He says, Minecraft Forge is not required to be installed and capitalized. They're actually trying to move away from uh, Minecraft Forge. They're actually trying to get away from using it, and they've successfully done that, so you do not need it. And actually installing it will actually interfere with the mod, so installing it is not a good idea. So it's not required, Don't you don't have to do it unless you want to, of course you can though. It's just a side note, because I've had people say you need it in, in uh, another version of this. So then once you've downloaded it, you can just go and close it. I'm sorry for rambling on. Uh, right now we're on the Resigamaz mod link, open that up in the description, it'll probably say a mod loader link. Go ahead and click that. What you can do is you can download direct down here, uh, here's the main page, you'll be up here. You go and scroll down. Just find the download section, it's really easy. You can either download uh, Mod Loader from AdFly or download Direct. Uh, if you don't have the time to wait five seconds of your life, then download Direct. But I'm going to download AdFly because I've always supported this mod because this is the life of all mods. Pretty much, anyways. Unless they use Forge, of course. Um, so yeah, you just wait, AdFly, five seconds of your life, skip Ed, very easy, downloads it instantly. I already have a download, so I got a Prentice one, uh, no problem. Uh, so now you can just go and close these links. I'm going to close them, I guess. And what you need to do now is go to your, down here in the bottom left, you need to go to your percent app data, percent app data, percent enter. Um, and then in here, there's a folder called dot Minecraft. As you can see, I took my old dot Minecraft and copied it to my desktop right here. Just in case if for some reason this doesn't work, I can always drag this back in there and then I have a new working Minecraft, so I don't have a problem. It's called backing it up. A lot of people don't seem to know this. Um, so what you need to do in here is open up your dot Minecraft and open up the folder called bin. And I'll open up a folder called Minecraft.jar. You're going to right-click it and open with WinRAR. Very simple. Now in here, there's a folder called MetaInf. It's very important that you delete this because if you do not delete it, you will get a uh, black screen or you'll stop at the end of a loading screen for some stupid reason. That will probably be your error on why. So make sure you do that. Um, so now that you've done that, just go on to minimize the .minecraft. And we need to find out where we download our stuff at. In my case, I've downloaded them to my downloads folder. What do you know? Um, I recommend saving them to your desktop though, and I'm going to move mine to the desktop, mod loader, and then btw mod, whatever version it says. It should not matter. So go ahead and close the folder that you got them from, or whatever you need to do, and then just drag them to your desktop, open up mod loader to start, right click and select all, and go ahead and drag and drop them into your minecraft.jar, press OK. And now what you need to do here is, uh, obviously just read me, you can go and read this if you want, doesn't really matter. Um, it's just a couple of notes here that you need to know. Uh, it even says uh, Resigo's Mod Loader, you don't need whatever it's called. And then, uh, yeah. So all you need to do, like it says, is you open up Minecraft-Jar here. Uh, regarding any of this, you can read the readme, the BDW config dex text, but you need to open up the dash jar. So right click, select all, and drag and drop it into your Minecraft.jar. I'm sorry if I've been doing a little descriptive and going out of the way of my usual tutorials, but I just want to make sure that everyone understands this, because this is quite a popular mod. Um, I believe you don't need anything else from that. Uh, I think you should be good now. You just go and close it. We'll go on a run on my Minecraft to show you guys that it's working and I won't load up with any black screens or anything. So this way you guys can't say, hey, it didn't work. Well, because if it didn't work, then then it was probably one of you guys that screwed up, not me. So yeah, we're going to go single player, create a new world, and we're just going to call it uh, Derp. Create a new world. I should not have a problem at all. Uh, I probably should have created a creative world, though. Yeah, dang it. I probably should have created a creative world. I'll just show you guys that it works in survival anyway, so that's what you're mainly going to be playing on. Uh, so obviously you can break blocks. My sound will come back, but I recently just installed a new um, a new uh, dot .minecraft, so. Uh, obviously it's working, because I don't believe hemp seeds are in Minecraft normally. So, yeah. Of course, thank you guys for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and as usual, I will see you guys around, and uh, thank you guys for watching.